Bringing up the pots. I need some new dishes. All right, so what's poppin', uh, everybody? Uh, Sacred Fire Negro. And uh, this battle wasn't even good. This wasn't even a good battle on like anybody's part. Like this battle was just me testing out a team that I had used um, on Shady Penguin on Saturday. This battle, is, this battle is gonna be uploaded Thursday, right? It's, it's no Sunday. It's Sunday. This battle be uploaded Sunday, and uh, this team was made uh, during the uh, podcast of Lumio Station. The link to that battle live will be in the description below. But anyway, he's going to send us Ferret Thorn. I'm going to uh, Mega Evolve into the Manetric and then Volt Switch out because I knew, because that's why, that's the whole point. It's the whole point is to lead with Manetric. And um, as you can see, I just basically Mega Evolve and I just Volt Switch out onto whatever, you know what I'm saying? Onto whatever he does. So I knew he was going to switch out because I, I, when you see a Mega Manetric, you know Flamethrower or Fire Blast is there. That's why he basically just switched out. So he switched into the uh, Gudra, and the Gudra's going to be able to eat it up. And you know, all right, oh, damn, he ate it up, my lord. And I'm going to switch out into uh, the Almighty uh, Landris. Now, Landris, what he's supposed to do is he's just supposed to U-turn the fuck out because he's already fast enough, and I'm pretty sure Gudra carries Ice Beam. So I'm just like, no, I'm not about that life. So I'm going to go for the U-turn right here. And, of course, it's going to do, like, I want to say a clean 45, 50, not even, yeah, 45% of health. And I'm just like, okay, that's great and all, but I mean, it doesn't matter at all at the same time. So I sent out my uh, Tyranitar, and this isn't Tom. This is not Tom. This isn't Tom. <laughs> this isn't Tom. Tom the Tyranitar is a different Tyranitar. This is actually a uh, sassy Tyranitar that I had made. You know, Nexus made it. Made, Nexus made the, like the like the set for me, and I just made it up. You know, Poke Gent and shit, thanks to Hakeem. And um, and you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to go for the Almighty Quick and Almighty. I think go for the. I what I go for. I'm not sure if I went for the rocks here. I don't know what I went for actually. I think what I did was um I went for the pursuit on the uh, Gujo because I knew he was gonna switch out. You know, predicting an earthquake, and as you can see, he does switch out, and I get the pursuit trap on him. And as you honestly you can see, you know what I'm saying? You see this? This is like you saw. <laughs> I love when I get that because people be thinking like you run regular sets on Tyrant Tire, but then you hit him with every Almighty Pursuit. And he's just like, no, nigga. And then what I have us here is I'm gonna send out um, I think I send out Mega Manetric right here on this Darmanitan because I was freeing a uh, a Flare Blitz, and of course the Flare Blitz was a thing, so I get the uh, Manetric off. I mean, I get the Intimidate off, and then he goes for the Hammer Arm instead of uh the uh, Flare Blitz. So I mean, that would have killed me actually. It would have killed me, but at the same time, I, I really don't care because it, it didn't kill me at all. But I'm I just uh, I don't I don't. Ah, I just see it as a, it being like a thing that could like just be like avoided. So he's gonna switch out his Armenitan and he's gonna switch out into uh, Nigel, the Almighty Pharisee. And I'm just like, yeah, Volt Switch, nigga. And as you can see, I'm a Volt, I'm a Volt Switch back into the Tyranitar to get the uh, to get the Almighty and Powerful Sandstorm back up. And I'm about to go for the Fire Blast and the Pharisee, and it's gonna hit. <laughs> you know, like Fire Blast has a low accuracy, plus the Sandstorm is up. So I'm just like, yeah, I might miss this, and it might cost me the game. But at the same time, if I do, oh, damn, my lord. But at the same time, if I do hit it, it doesn't matter. But I do end up hitting it, and it does take out the uh, the almighty, um, the almighty and powerful uh, Pharisee. And I'm just like, cool, I'm decent right now. I'm decent. I'm so decent right now. I'm decent. So when he sends out, I get the uh, leftovers, and then... <coughs> This is his Frankie, Frankie the Almighty and Powerful Darmanitan. Now his Darmanitan is powerful in its own way. So what I do is, I think I send out my um, Landorus just to get, uh, cause I knew he was gonna go for the Flare Blitz this time, cause I know he was he was predicting a Manetric switch in, which was like the obvious, you know what I'm saying, choice. But he actually goes for the U-turn this time, and I'm just like, ooh, he's actually playing really good, but the U-turn is being eaten up by the um, by this Almighty and Powerful Landorus. And Terravolt comes through, and Terravolt is powerful. But for me, I outspeed Terravolt, so I go for the clean Earthquake. And that Earthquake is going to destroy this uh, Terravolt. But the thing about it is, I was wondering why he didn't have a uh, Focus Sash on it, because he wanted to set up webs, like, real early. He could have uh, set up the webs and whatnot. But it's cool, though. So he's going to go for the Flare Blitz right here. And uh, this is what Flare Blitz does without the Intimidate. And as you can see, that that's monstrous as fuck. Like, that's legit scary as hell. I was I was done. I was so done after that. But I was like, oh Jesus, I need to go calm down, go sit down somewhere. But anyway, I'm gonna set up my manetra just to get the uh just to get the flare blitz, just to get the intimidate off, even though flare blitz is gonna do what it has to do with me. I think it kills. I think he kills the manetric even even with the intimidate, because the stab plus I think uh, plus I think sheer force. Yeah, of course it's gonna be sheer force, but it's gonna kill the manetric, but his attack is still lowered. So I'm like, okay, great. This is awesome. This is great, 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 great. So I sent up Rotom right here, and Rotom comes through. Rotom Time comes through, go for the hydro pump because I, I knew he was gonna. I don't know why he stayed in, but I guess that was the only pump money he had. But as you can see, Rotom was gonna eat it up. 
We're gonna eat it up. And there you go. But for the hydro pump, the hydro pump's obviously gonna kill it. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much that's pretty much the end of that Darmanitan's reign because he basically killed two Pokemon that had Intimidate. It's crazy, but as you can see, it just you know it just it just did what it had to do. It came it came through and for the Flare Blitz and destroy everything. But here's King Tut right here, and I'm just like, oh no! I go for the Flare, I go for the Will O Wisp, and he ends up getting the hacks, and I end up missing. And I go for the uh, he goes for the Energy Ball that kills. So I go for the Volt Switch right here. I did not want to lose. Road time. I was trying to keep the score like a little decent. I think right there is like a 4 0 right there. You know what I'm saying? It's a 4 0, clean 4 0. And I send him my Aegis Slash. Now, Aegis Slash, I was predicting a uh, Shadow Ball. And uh, he actually goes for the nasty plot right here, which I was actually pretty, I was actually pretty, you know what I'm saying, ecstatic about. I was like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty decent. You feel me? Like, this is really. This is really, really good. Like, this is really good. Like, this is really, really good. So what I do is I go for the shadow bar right here, and um, I just basically just, you know what I'm saying? I just basically just chill and go for the shadow bar. The shadow bar is going to be enough to kill him, but what I was thinking was he was going to have like, at least another, like a little small sum of HP to go attack him and get this weakness policy up, but that wasn't the case at all. And as you can see, his last Pokemon is his Mega Heracross. I go for the King Shield right here on the, on the, um, when the, Mer when the Mega Heracross comes through and, you know what I'm saying, goes through the Earthquake, because that's the only thing he has to kill me, even though, you know what I'm saying, even though he does have Quick Attack that becomes, you know what I'm saying, uh, flying in this gen, because, you know, Aerial Light, and he has all these other moves that become uh, flying, but he still doesn't do it because it doesn't, I don't know why he doesn't do it, but he does go for the Earthquake right here, and that's going to make me, you know what I'm saying, that's going to make me eat it up to where I have enough for the Weakness Policy Shadow Ball to do what it has to do, and it's basically going to end up the battle right here, and um, basically that's going to be it, so <laughs> that's going to be like, that's legit the end of the battle like that's that's as far as it's gonna go that's as far as this entire thing is gonna go so with that being said with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up uh it helps a lot and all the other bullshit uh thank you guys for 20k again uh the q a will be in the description below the battle versus shady penguin live with this team will be in the description below from the podcast and uh subscribe for more comments some other bullshit bye never sleep this supernova call me freeze a bitch is fiending for the semen like the reefer bumping jesus lord save me from these demons keep a smile on my face love and life fuck the hate fuck your life it was great see um i never lived life like this before stacking trades but yet i'm bro everybody want to get famous shit but i ain't really done with that famous shit i just want to chill with my niggas cracking switches staying out the system just backing with these bitches never fall in love with them hoes though got four dogs on that beamer switching lanes with you fuck niggas tucci got that steamer so don't act up when we get close cause that thing banger you'll get ghost that thing banger you'll get close don't act up when we get close that thing banger you'll get close. we live in life like the videos Different hoes, different cities, different states Bigger dreams, could you hit me? Hit the scene and let them cameras roll Now these people get the picture Roll the switch and pour the liquor We just chillin' Living life like the videos Different hoes, different cities, different states Bigger dreams, could you hit me? Hit the scene and let them cameras roll Now these people get the picture Roll the switch and pour the liquor We just chillin' Uh, Highway 29 We rollin' like we post to we just so lost in the time Just keep it cool when they approach you Cause 